Whoa, 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 what is this? Two screens? Yep, I have learned how to record some DS games. E Hello everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of the legendary Starfy. Let's get this adventure started and see what this game is all about, shall we? Go, 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 ah. A beautiful high-in-the-sky scene with slightly jittery clouds. Believe me, this is the game's art style. <laughs> Above the ocean. There is once a floating kingdom called Puff Top. And that's Puff Top, obviously. The prince of Puff Top was named Starfy. Ah, oh, he's adorable, but seemingly incredibly klutzy. He wasn't exactly like other princes. His head was always in the clouds. Quite literally, actually. In fact, his whole body's in the clouds. It was just another relaxing day in the kingdom of Puff Top. When Starfy was awakened from a nap by an alarming sound. Oh, pain! Oh, is he okay? Someone crashed through the ceiling! Wake up, wake up, but yeah, you're okay. Starfy was shocked. He tried talking to him, but the unexpected visitor was too bewildered to answer. And he trips again. <laughs> Who was this mysterious fellow? Starfy didn't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? There he is! <laughs> you're coming with us, kid. Three shadowy goons crashed through the wall. They started dragging the little fellow away. Oh! <laughs> they were trying to kidnap the little guy. When Starfy saw what they were up to... Hey, what gives? Who's the starfish? Stay out of this, or you'll regret it. <laughs> I am pretty sure they will be the ones who will regret this. Uh, huh? Classic cartoon violence veiled by a smoke screen. Ow, ow, <laughs> Starfy used a whirling, swirling attack to clobber the bad guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where'd the kid go? Great. This is all his fault. We'll be back for you, pal. This isn't over. And another smoke screen, like a ninja this time. After the three goons ran away, Starfy heard someone calling his name. Starfy! Hey, Starf! It was Starfy's best friend, Mo! A clam. <laughs> What's all the racket? Who was that in the spaceman get up? He ran off that away. Friend of yours? And Starfy seems to think so, despite only just having met. <laughs> Wah! Where'd he go? The, the kid jumped off here into the ocean! Starfy was worried. Why were those bad guys chasing the young visitor? He made up his mind. He had to find them. Haha! <laughs> Real funny, Starf. We can't go after him. He's trying to pull him back. Not happening! Squid Monster! Down there! Huge one! You're nuts! And before they knew it, they weren't on solid cloud. <laughs> well, it's adventure time. Starfy's big adventure began with quite a splash. <clears throat> splash. I was gonna say crashes. I don't know. <laughs> who was that strange fellow who fell from the sky? Why was he being chased by a gang of shady goons? There are so many questions, and it was up to Starfy to find the answers. Let's do so right now. Oh jeez, there's the squid monster. Oh! Well, that squid monster will not be too happy about that. Oh jeez, it's got the bunny. Let's go after it! 
D-pad to move, B button to swim faster, and that's pretty much all well, you can spin with the Y button for now, but that's pretty much all you can do right now. Let's just go swim through the oceans. This game controls incredibly well for being a mostly underwater game, and probably because it's based entirely underwater, you're swift, you're fast, it's fun to play, it feels loose and yet tight at the same time, I don't know, it just feels really good. Hiya, are you Starfy? Like, THE Legendary Starfy? No way, I can't believe it! I bet you're going on an awesome adventure, right? I can totally help you! If you see any shells like this one I, I have, press X to tell me all about the stuff you did. Now just remember it all and, and, like, save your progress. Or you can press start and then select save. That'll do the trick anytime. Try to save, like, often, okay? Maybe I should be doing this in, like, a obnoxious teenager girl voice. I don't know. <laughs> I'm down at the touch screen if you ever want any mermaid go- Nah, that sounds awful. <laughs> gossip. Good luck! The mermaid gossip feature has been added to the touch screen. And... She's going to teach you the turbo swim of sorts. Well, okay, sort of hinting at that. Alright, let's swim. Oh, I guess I can show you how it looks to save. Saving, don't turn off the power, remove the memory card. Okay. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's very, very simple. Uh, you can spin the knock off seaweeds and kill enemies. In fact, most of the enemies are killed by such a thing. And Starfy loves pearls. They replenish his energy, so collect as many as you can. You can also use them to buy bonus items for Starfy. Press the R button to check out Moe's case on the map screen to do some shopping, Starfy style. These larger pearls are worth five, these uh, smaller ones are worth one, so I guess you can keep that in mind if you want to get like a, a bundle of pearls, and it's probably a very good idea to collect as many pearls as you can, because there's some very expensive things in this game to buy, so just collect lots and lots of pearls, and in levels you'll find treasure chests like this one. We gotta collect them all for 100%. I got Moe's Diary in this treasure chest. Why it's in there, I have no clue. Looks like Starfy and I got swept up into another adventure. She... Oh, I'm reading it in the wrong voice. I tried to stop him. Well, as long as he checks the ability screen from the pause screen and listens to my brilliant ideas, I think I'll be alright. And uh, you can go over to the journal and see what stuff you have collected in the meantime. And yeah, there's even some side quests and stuff that you can do as well later on in the game. But we'll just we'll cover that later. Let's just keep things nice and simple, nice, nice and fun and easy for the first part. And let's explore up here, shall we? I don't trust your signs. Oh, when you're on land, you can press the Y button to run like this, otherwise you're walking pretty slowly like this. It's uh, it's kind of tricky to transition between that because when you're in the water, you're pressing the B to swim around like this, and when you're out of the water, you switch to the Y button like that, so you, have, you actually have two different control schemes depending on whether or not you're on the land or you're in the water. So uh, keep that in mind and you will eventually adjust to it. It, it becomes second nature after a while. Sorry, Starf. I couldn't catch him. Big Squiddy still has that kid who fell from the sky. They're gone now. Guess I'll we'll have, <clears throat> we'll have to head back up to Pop Top. Hey, yep, right, Starf? Whoa, what's that shining crystal thing? You found it after that kid crashed through the roof? You think maybe it belongs to him? Well, that's too bad. Let's head home. Oh, come on, that's, that's not nice. Starf, what are you thinking? I don't like it when you get that look in your eye. Well, come on, Starf. You want to give the crystal thingy back to that kid? All right, fine. But then we're heading home. My clam chores aren't going to do themselves. And that spring a dingy thingy here is basically the end of the level. Woo! And you'll see that there's a cleared mark on the level here. Uh, and that was 1-1 one, one one, titled In Deep Trouble. You didn't get to see the name of the level as you just like sprung right into it right away. At least I, I didn't really notice. And uh, uh, if you notice over here, there's two chests left. So there's only one chest in the first level here. We already got that. I don't know how you could possibly miss it. But anyway, let's start level 1-2, Star Spin, which we kind of already have. We're going to have to start using for realsies here because there's going to be some enemies and the uh, mermaid there at the bottom screen clearly will give you hints along the way, so... This is bad, man. This is really bad. Oh, wow, kid. You look like a star. 
Crazy? I'm Herman. Starfy, huh? Cool name, man. You think you can help me? My pets got gobbled up by that gobblop. Yeah, they really did that. <laughs> Over there. That's the bloated friend, man. That swallowed all my cuddly little cotties. Over there. Yep, that's a gobblop. And there's cotties inside of him. Yeah, those little fishies are cotties. Gotta go save him. What's that? You can hit the gobble up with your star spin? Oh, please, please. Can you save my ten cotties? I'd owe you, man. They're too cute to be food. I tag gobble up with the tracker. Just follow the arrow and use your star spin. The tracker is really, really overdoing it in terms of easy mode, I guess you could say. And there's a little tutorial here showing you the controls and whatnot. It's pretty simple. But do not spin too quickly, otherwise this will happen. You'll be dizzy and you'll be stunned for a while. If you're in, like, in the mid-water, you'll float down slowly and you won't be able to move or anything like that. So just time your spins to have, like, a certain rhythm to them. Something like this, and you'll be fine. Get out of his belly! Arrgh! Gobble up here is a completely harmless enemy, as you can tell there, but he seems like he's dangerous if he can eat other things, but he's not dangerous to you. Come back here, you monstrosity! Arrgh! Eating fish chop, yeah! And he's done. Once he runs out of food, he will dis disappear. It's, it's like that with all gobblops throughout the game. Anyway, let's explore this area here. There's not really all that much to see, per se. Uh, it's just that I would like to show you. Well, I guess there's a, a pearl to get there. You have to get, per uh, you have to pop pearls with your star spin, by the way, in case you didn't realize that. Uh, otherwise, you just kind of push them around. Um, there's a there's currents around this area as well, which you gotta look out for because you're like, can't go up. Yeah, 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 and it's 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 futile. <laughs> and this is where the paths paths lead together. It's like a gobble up battle arena of sorts. You know, they gave you a harmless enemy to get you used to attacking things with their controls, and it's very hard to miss the enemy because it's so large. <laughs> Far out! You got my little buddies out of Gobblop's belly! Thanks so much, Starfy! What? Have I seen a giant squid carrying a floppy-eared kid? Well, yeah, I have! That's crazy that you just asked that. Take the shortcut behind me here and you can probably catch up with them, man. Good luck! Just be careful if you mess with Big Squiddy. Peace out, man. Yeah, that was the name of that Big Squid. It's Big Squiddy. You have anything else to say here? If I didn't have my cotties to take care of, I'd hit the sea road with you, man. Adventures, new lands, people, new everything. Ah, well, maybe someday. Maybe someday indeed. Let's save. Just because it's here. Alright, and these are a new enemy called Unu. And over here is a treasure chest. Don't forget about that because once you go through the current, you won't be able to come back unless you restart the level. Let's see Herman's diary. Today I saw a strange guy get dragged away by Big Squiddy. The kid was dressed like he was from outer space. Far out! I hope he's okay. I could help, but I can't leave my cotties. Yeah, we kind of heard that from him, but I don't know. Oh, whatever. Alright, current. Woo! Let yourself float with the current. And wait a second, is there anything? Yeah, there's a couple pearls here that I could get. Oh, no. Nope, bad current. There we go. And wait a second, there's more over here. You can break through walls like so with the star spin. Uh, there's actually a bunch of secret walls and levels to be, uh, just so like, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is an enemy known as Seaweed. I think it's trying to hide, but it doesn't doesn't do a very good job of it. <laughs> in levels, you'll find uh, mini game. Well, yeah, I guess you could say uh, side quest doors like this. I was gonna say mini game, but mini games and side quests are actually different things. This is a side quest. Starfy, you gotta help me, man. I lost five super rare red red pearls. If I don't find them, I can't buy the good treats for my cotties. And I think I should be reading this in a different voice, actually. What? No way. My cotties can't eat just like just ordinary snacks. That's cruelty to cotties, man. Come on, help me, Starfy. Oh, fine, I'll help you find them. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thank you, Starfy. I am gonna forget all these voices through the course of this walkthrough, I swear. <laughs> Alright. There's one pearl, and there's a little counter above Starfy said to remind you how many are left, I suppose, if that was necessary at all, I don't really know, or... <laughs> 
I, I, I guess the game starts off really easy and hold your hand-ish, but it gets ridiculously hard later on in the game. You'll see what I mean once we get to that point. I guess it's just like they, they teach you through um, little illustrations and whatnot early in the game, and then they start demolishing you. <laughs> my red pearls! Nice, Starfy! Now I can buy my pets the high-class fishy food! Sorry I keep asking you to do me favors. I guess I should give you a reward, huh? Oh, I know. I'll tell you about this crazy secret place I found. Here, let me see your map. Area Seeker 1 has been added to the map, and secret stages are... stages. Basically, I'm gonna do them in numerical order, and since that's 1-5, I'll do that after 1-4 later on. So, let's go out of here, and see what else this stage has in store for me. I should say, still in store for us, because, you know, watching. <laughs> uh, wait a second, hold on, hold on, hold on, I just want to see. Mm. Mm. There could have been a secret wall there, I just want to see for the fun of it. Hey there, how's it going? Yo! <clears throat> Yo, Starf, I just caught a whiff of treasure. My nose says it's nearby. If you see any funky cracks in the walls, use your star spin. If you keep a sharp eye out, you might get rich with treasure. Huh? Saving that space kid is more important than treasure? Well, if I sift some treasure, I'll still let you know down on the touch screen. The closer you get to the treasure, the more excited you'll see me get. I may you might even catch a whiff of, my, of other stuff. So keep an eye on my screen, Starf. All right, all right, we can go. Let's find some treasure. I, I mean, let's find that kid. The most sniffer feature has been added to the touch screen. And it'll give you a little tutorial here. Just watch Mo on the bottom screen. In fact, because I'm going for 100%, I'll probably have Mo out most of the time as opposed to the mermaid or any other character we come across through the game. And there he is on the bottom screen there. <laughs> and as you can see, he's he's got his eyes sight on some sort of treasure chest in the area. Are these seaweed balls or whatever the heck they are? Maybe they're balled up algae or something like that. Uh, you can push them around, but only only one square. Like, oops. Like once they get to ah, slippery Xbox D-pad. Like one. Oh wait, maybe two squares. Once they get to a certain point, you can't push him any further like that. Anyway, this enemy here is Wahi Wahi. Yeah, it's a, uh, uh, it's a pun on the name Mahi Mahi, a dish. <laughs> oh, oh, cracked wall. Oh, gotta go up through the cracked wall. Oh, I spun too fast. <laughs> I gotta get used to that again. Don't worry, I shall, but wait a second. Uh, he also seems very pleased as to getting pearls. Um, wait, what's that over there? I must find all the treasures. I must 100% this game. For it is... My destiny. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how things go, I suppose. Um, here we go. Yay! And I got beachwear. Aloha! Go to the stuff screen to change your outfit. I'll show you that on the map after this level. There's all sorts of outfits that you can give Starfy on uh, EO pause screen. Well, actually, well, why not? Let's let's do it here, just just for the heck of it. Let's put on that beachwear. Yeah, dress up time. <laughs> Okay, I'll just leave them like that, and that's all I've got for right now. There's a bunch of stuff to collect in this game, but it's mostly in the um, uh, treasure chests uh, in terms of uh, where things are hidden and whatnot that you need to find. And you notice that uh, Mo on the touchscreen there is no longer uh, flashing his eyes in excitement there, which means that there are no more secrets to be found in this area, and that is why I'm going to have Mo in the t uh, on the touchscreen most of the time here. Wait, there's a floating... Come back here, bubbly pearl! Oh, dang it, I missed it! Come on, come on. Yeah, Need pocket change, yes! Pearls, other games, currency, and I must collect the pocket change to get stuff. This is Globerto. Greetings, my good man! I am Globerto. I travel the world making the finest maps. Maps, globes, and charts allow you to hold the entire world in your hands. It's like magic. If you ever lose your way, come chat with me, and I shall show you the map. I'm happy to be of assistance to you at any time in the future. Ta-ta, my friend! So I'll show you how to use him right away. I mean, I should show you how he's used. My travels have been long, but finally I have arrived here at Glug Glug Lagoon. Hmm, I didn't think it would be so crowded, though dirtier than I imagined as well. Yeah, but can I 
I would like to use your feature here. Uh, I can't use your feature yet? Really? It's okay. <laughs> I guess I'll have to show that later on. Well, basically, he poops you out back at the map, and you can use him to come back here whenever you're ready. He's like... Uh, a, a war point of sorts if you ever want to leave the level and go to another level basically anyway let's end this level Ooh, it's actually they call them stages I'm just kind of used to calling them levels so stage one dash two is cleared and over here you'll notice that there's a little that i can press x on the map here this will take you over to yet another sort of checkpoint i guess you could say whenever you find uh, a mini, uh, I mean a side quest door, like over here, it'll take you over to where that side quest door is. So you can use that to go back to stuff if you, if you like, suspect that you've missed a treasure chest at a certain point. So it's like a midpoint in the level. And over here, after you beat the level, you'll find that there is uh, a spring -a ding to, it'll take you all the way outside from here as well. Alright, that seems to be good for first part, so... I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.